Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Robert. In the previous videos, I was uh, uh, introducing you to the multi-effect unit by Harley Benton called uh, DNA FX Git, which is a really handy and uh, very good uh, value for the price unit. I'm trying to show you how the unit can be used and uh, in this video I'm going to show you some sounds. So first of all I want to show you what I'm using. This is the Fender Stratocaster with uh, two single coils, humbucker. From the guitar I'm splitting the signal uh, using the DI box by uh, BSS, which is really nice DI. And then the one half of it is uh, going directly into the Cubase, the second part is uh, going to the unit and from there I'm running stereo uh, to the sound card and to the Cubase of course. So uh, I have the editor loaded here and I want to show you some uh, factory presets. Uh, first of all this is the guitar by itself with uh, no effect on. With the fourth position and humbucker. So, and the unit is uh, running, the editor is here. As I told you, uh, there have been 200 presets, factory presets, but uh, some of those I didn't like at all, so I uh, deleted them. And the ones I liked, uh, I modified them because a lot of the times the volume of the presets have been so different. Once it was too loud and the, the other one uh, was too silent so I adjusted this and I will make the backup of uh, these settings and you can uh, find it in the description of the video and download it and put it into your unit if you like it. I think there are some really good sounds in the unit for the, uh, for the money you get a lot of possibilities and you can use this unit uh, f for a gig even uh, of course for rehearsing and for practicing yourself and I think uh, you can really enjoy the sounds of it. Mostly the clean sounds, some of the overdriven sounds are like on the edge of uh, how can I use it or uh, will I really enjoy it. But uh, this is a unit for 139 euro. Uh, now it's uh, August 2022, so this is the price and I think it's fantastic. Normally you, you can get a simple overdrive pedal or something else for the same amount of money and here you have a lot of stuff. So uh, this is the preset number nine uh, called Attack. As you can hear, this is really a beautiful, beautiful reverb and beautiful clean sound. So uh, I am sure you can use it for some of your production or some of your songs. Next one, number 19. <laughs> There's one small pity, uh, you cannot uh, choose if you want the tails of your preset stay on or not. If you are playing this and switching, your tails are away, so you have to know it and be careful about it. Uh, when I told you that I uh, adjusted the volume uh, or loudness of the presets, it's mostly made easiest way here in the amp section so you can turn this master up and down uh, or gain up and down uh, depends on if the channel of the amp is already dirty or clean some of the cleans can you uh, go up and the sound is still uh, qu uh, quite clean and uh, if this not enough you can go to the compressor settings turn the compressor on and put some more volume here or you can go to the overdrive pedal take pure boost for example and put the volume up gain down and so we're getting some some loudness some uh, some more volume here 
Right, um, I go on with some more sounds. This is number 32. Nice tremolo sound. You can also switch here. Now we have some overdriven sound. This was humbucker. Some of the overdriven sounds have to be tuned to your guitar and to your uh, PA, whatever you need. This was a little too sharp for me, but anyway. So this was Vox AC30, now we have some clean 5150 and with more gain. It's interesting, you can use your volume knob and make it more dynamic. So it reacts quite fine and we go on, number 42. This is humbucker, so there is some, sometimes there is a problem with humbucker and these sounds. But it's better on clean anyway. As you can hear, really nice reverbs and delays. Magic. As you can see, I was trying to reach kind of this twelve minus twelve dB minus fifteen dB level. For me, this is like a good, uh, good level for recording because when I'm putting drums and putting bass on it, it would mostly go up to the zero uh, on the stereo out. So I don't want to do it, and it's enough for recording anyway. As you can hear, uh, there is no hissing or whatever because we have this uh, no noise gate here so this is quite useful Uh, 
this was Soldano amp. I think the, there are 55 different amp models, but maybe 10 of those are really good. You have to find for yourself what you like. Number 51. I think the marshals are quite good in it. Nice if you want to make some atmospheres in the songs. I mean, you don't have to be in front of the band all the time. Or if you use your volume knob. some acoustic simulator but I don't really dig it.
Okay, we are also using some uh, distortion pedals. So, for example, this would be uh, some kind of muff gray haze. <laughs> Depending on what kind of music you're playing, it could be also useful. Fuzzy. Quite dynamic, I think. Fusion. Godzilla. A lot of times you think this is a terrible sound, but you can imagine it in the context of some atmospheric rock, psychedelic, whatever. You see, it works. Move overdrive. Not bad. Some of the presets I tried to modify them a little to fit better to my taste and to my guitar. So not only the volume but also the sound sometimes.
This is the one I modified for kind of black metal. Let's see. Probably Plexi. Oh, this is the wah effect. Let's see. No humbucker, no.
Oh, I could put some noise gate here. Why not? song.
So guys, those of you who were so brave and waited until the end of the video, thank you for your attention. I will go on with some uh, different options on this unit in the next video and you can uh, follow my channel, whatever, uh, press like or share your with your friends or go and check out this unit. I think it's quite good. Have a nice day. Bye.